Dad, after all, we've strayed and yes, we've been bad. We're thankful for your love. Well, hey everyone, this is Rick. I want people to know that even though um, some of the things that I'm gonna try to do are rather shocking and um, maybe not right in a lot of people's books. I want to explain some of the reasons behind them. This is Ricky's mother, Karen Zerby, seen here in the late 70s. She condoned sexual abuse in her own home. My own mother. What an evil little God damn. How can you do that to kids? How can you do that to kids and sleep at night? I don't know. Anyway. She's a six year old, for God's sake. Animals. I hate those. They're gonna get it, too, if I have anything to do with it. Anyway, let's stay on the course here, Rick. Um, the goal is to bring down the sick mama and Peter. created boys and girls able to have children by about the age of 12 years of age. I practice what I preach, and I preach sex, boys and girls, hallelujah! In 1973, Berg introduced a practice he calls flirty fishing. I got the terminology from fishing, what Jesus said in the Bible, to go out and fish for men. Bring them in to the kingdom of God through flirting. Not only the flirting was more than flirting, it was actually, you know, religious prostitution.
Rick showed little appetite for the mantle of leadership forced upon him by David Berg. As he grew older, he became increasingly angry with his mother, rejecting everything she stood for. Ex-cult members began contacting Rick, pressurizing him to take a stand against their abusers. People would ask him, are you doing something about it? If you know the truth, you more than anybody else, they're like, you owe it to us. Well, hey everyone, this is Rick, and I'm making this video, um, well, for many reasons, I guess. I suppose the main reason is that I want there to be some record of the way I feel, um, my ideas, and some of the frustrations that I've had, and just who I was, really. Um, I want people to know that even though um, some of the things that I'm going to try to do are rather shocking and um, maybe not right in a lot of people's books, I want to explain some of the reasons behind them. So anyway, I'm just loading some of my mags here. Hope you guys don't mind if I do that while I talk. I used to think a lot about suicide. It's it actually, believe it or not, it should have started a long time ago. It should have started when I was born. Actually, suicide is not something that you talked about with people, anybody, or you know, or you were gonna turn into a. In any case, they beat the devil out of you, or whatever. It's just insane. And my sister has such a up time in team training. She's a six-year-old, for God's sake. Animals. I hate those. They're gonna get it, too, if I have anything to do with it. Anyway, let's stay on the course here, Rick. I have my Glock and all this an owl, but the truth is, this is my weapon of choice. The K-Bar knife. I only want it for one purpose, and that is taking out the scum. Taking out the f trash. So I wanted a nicer edge, a finer edge that cuts better. So I changed it to basically a kitchen knife edge, which is 17 degrees. And now, goddamn, I can f shave with this. F so, one shot, one kill. Well, hopefully. You know, I better check to make sure this f thing is actually recording. Just got a new camera here. So, anyway, duct tape. Can fix anything with this stuff. Okay, I want to fix some people with this. Horrible thing when adults contemplate suicide. 
but so much worse when you got a little kid yeah. who is, you know, not born to be a messed up little f He's a little life, you know? She's a little life. And you just f him over because you're a sick f pervert and you don't have anything better to do with your life than to f up your little kids. A lot of you girls, crap. I can't even compare my stories with yours. But that's not what this is about. We're not sitting here comparing, oh, you got it worse than I did. You got it more times than I did. Because it's not about that. It doesn't really matter. It should never have happened at all to anybody. That's the point. Uh, I've tried so many things. Trying to, uh, trying to somehow fit in. Somehow to find, you know, a normal life. Everybody has said, who I've talked to about this, well, you know, yeah, yeah, everybody has their problems, everybody has what? But those people who say that, you know, they had no clue as to what actually went on because they weren't part of the cult. These are just average systemites. But that's what happened to me. Not having that mirror, not of other people to hold up and, you know, see how I relate to them, you know, those formative years, you know, if you're only around perverts, people are a the head and trying to f you over. I've been going non stop like I'm sure everybody else has um, since I since I left that cult. I'm trying to do something lasting, something that if God forbid in the next life I it does go on, um, that I can look back on this if I'm able to and know that, okay, maybe I didn't technically do the right thing, but I tried to do something to help. I didn't just fade away. I didn't just turn tail and run and let those f win. Um, the goal is to bring down those sick f mama and Peter. My own mother. What an evil little f God damn. How can you do that to kids? How can you do that to kids and sleep at night? I don't know. Anyway, that's my goal. Where's our apology? They're not even sorry. There is this need that I have. This need. It's not a want. It's a need. And I wish it wasn't, but it is. It's a need for revenge. It's a need for justice. Because I can't go on like this. I don't really know how far I'm going to get. I'm starting to think now that it's not going to be that far. And that's going to suck ass. I'll get one person, that's for sure. My source for the information. I'm not trained in torture methods, which is what I'm going to have to make do. I got my drill here. The reason why it's got this padding on it is just to try to silence it a bit because I'm in an apartment. Um, I got gags, socks. <laughs> I got lots of duct tape. Um, I got a soldering iron. Sheets. Rather crude implements, I think can work wonders, especially if it's used in the right way. Oh, you gotta see this. This is not for torture, but man, it could be. The Stun Master. 775,000 volts. You gotta hear this puppy. Wow. Hopefully, if I don't make it, hopefully somebody else will pick up the torch. But yeah, I mean, I guess I said all I, I can say, and what can I say, you know? What can I say? <clears throat> but, you know, I sort of seem laid back right now, but Jesus Christ. You know, anger does not begin, does not begin to describe how I feel about these people and what they've done. You know, I mean, rage, I, I get livid. I thought how cool it would be to, uh, uh, to go hunting for some child traffickers that are kidnapping little kids um, down in Indonesia and some of those hard-hit countries. I mean, can you imagine coming down there to steal little children and use them as sex slaves, use, them, use their organs? Um, Cut them up. Can you imagine? I mean, in a way, that's what these have done to us. They don't, didn't actually, you know, grow.
grab a knife and cut us up, but man, they sure f up our brains. Used us as slaves, because that's what we were, every last one of us, no matter how we were treated, we were slaves. Just there for the sick pleasure. That's all it was. That's the way it was at Grandpa and Mama's house. All right. Okay, well, keep keep fighting, keep the faith, and all that other stuff. And someday, in some way, some of us are going to be around to see those burn. Literally or figuratively, they're going down. So, with that happy thought, I shall leave you. Dad, I don't want you to leave.